If you guys have seen Japanese game shows, you know that Japan can turn something as simple as a game show into something ridiculously amazing. <laughs> or to some people, just ridiculous, depending on what you like. But the same thing goes for their car culture. You've got Bosuzoku car culture, Natasha, Dekatora, and Onikion, which roughly translates to demon camber. <laughs> And that brings us to this week's Two Minute Tuesday where we are talking about camber. Now, I'm not here to argue function over form because at the end of the day, it's your car and you should do whatever makes you happy, whether that's setting your car up to the track or slamming it to the ground. That being said, we are gonna talk about why you would want a bit of negative camber and how you would go about achieving that. So let's put two minutes on the clock and let's talk camber. Besides being able to slam your car to the ground and tuck your wheels, adding a little bit of negative camber is actually going to improve your performance by increasing the contact patch when you are cornering, which is why you see a lot of track cars and autocross cars running about negative three degrees of camber. And that's basically the main reason why you would wanna do so. Also, lowering your car is naturally going to add a bit of negative camber, so you wanna be able to dial in those adjustments, which brings us to the next point on how you would go about doing so. Now I'm probably gonna get people that say, well, Kevin, excessive camera is gonna absolutely destroy your tires. Why would you wanna do that? And while that happens to an extent, it isn't entirely true. Obviously the inside of your tires is gonna wear a little bit faster than the outside depending on your application, but the main culprit to destroy tires is an incorrect toe alignment, which is why you wanna get an alignment every time you mess with your suspension. So we're gonna to head to the front of the car and I'm gonna show you guys two different ways to adjust the camera in these cars in the front and then we'll head back to the rear. The front of these cars actually come with a bit of camera adjustability from the factory in the form of a camera bolt in the top mounting location right there. So depending on how you have that bolt orientated, it's gonna move the knuckle in or out. So a simple way of adding more camera adjustability is adding another camera bolt to the bottom mounting location and that's gonna give you about 0.75 degrees of extra camera adjustment. If you find yourself needing more than that, we can come up to the top where we have some camera plates installed. These are gonna allow you to easily adjust your camera. All you have to do is loosen these four bolts and that allows you to slide the strut freely. And once you have that dialed in, tighten those bolts down and you're set. It's gonna give you about negative two to negative four degrees of extra adjustment. The rear of these cars don't actually come with any camera adjustability from the factory. So if you wanna be able to adjust your camera, you're gonna to need to pick up a set of adjustable lower control arms. There's basically two different types, ones that use a slotted design with a spacer like the SPCs or the white lines, and ones that use a turnbuckle and lock system like these RSRs we have installed. So basically all you have to do is loosen these two nuts and then you turn this section, which either extends or shortens the length of the control arm, which translates directly to your camber. So basically you have camera bolts and camera plates for the front and adjustable lower control arms for the rear. And that pretty much sums up camera adjustment. I'll leave a link to those products down in the description. If you guys have any video requests or questions, leave them in the comments section down below. And a friendly reminder that if you're messing with your suspension, you usually want to get an alignment afterwards, but knowing how to adjust the camera yourself is gonna help you dial it in as close as possible. So when you're driving to an alignment shop, it's not pulling one way or another. And that pretty much wraps up this week's video, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Oni, 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 uh, Takatora Onikian. Onik Onikian. So basically you have camera bolts and camera blade plate plates plots. Pilates.